My name is Harry Reitz and I have a three-ton Climate Master water-to-water -water heating system. Since we've had it installed, we've had some pretty extreme cold weather and it's done very well um, during, during the coldest time of the year. We experience very high winds here for a, a good portion of our winter. We get 30 to 40 mile an hour winds consistently blowing on our house. This is our primary heat source for the house. It runs through our floors and keeps the both levels warm and been very very happy with the performance. We ran our slinky loops in the beach instead of just in the ground, and so we have a continuous tide movement over our um, coils to keep the ground temperature at a set 40 degrees or whatever the water temperature is, so we have no worries of our ground freezing being in the beach, so it's a nice, uh, nice way to exchange heat in the beach. So this, this first unit right here is the flow center, so this regulates the liquid uh, flow through the loops out into the beach and back into the house and then that takes the liquid from here and goes over into the heat pump um, and this is where the actual heating takes place in this unit here. This is a three ton um, water to water um, climate master heat pump and then I have my buffer tank here it's an insulated buffer tank which holds the liquid the warm liquid and kind of holds it until one of the zones calls for heat and it kicks on and takes the warm liquid out of this and sends it through whichever zone is calling for heat. And then when this, the temperature in this tank gets below what it's set at, uh, the thermostat will kick on and the heat pump will start making more hot liquid to send in the tank. So and here's my five um, zone pumps for my five zones. I've got two zones downstairs and three upstairs. And very quiet operation. Um, it's yeah, very uh, you know not not disturbing at all when it kicks on. It's a really smooth, quiet operation, and um, I've been extremely happy with the whole performance of this setup.